So Advanced System Care Pro is the paid version of Advanced System Care Free Edition by IOBit, which claims to protect your PC, speed it up, keep it clean, keep it updated. But is it worth it? Let's find out. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Before we get started, let me clarify something. This is not a sponsored video. This is an honest review of the product and a before you buy assessment. The only contribution IOBit made was they gave me a license, which I requested when I emailed them telling them I wanted to make this video. But I can say whatever I want. If I think it's garbage, you're going to know about it. Here at IOBit's website, there's a lot of stuff. They have antivirus products, Driver Booster Pro and free, which I'm going to cover this one next, so subscribe for that. A uh, bunch of tools here, Sysinfo, Mac Booster, Defrag tools. Uh, IOBit Uninstaller, we're also going to cover this one in another video. Um, but today we're going to cover under the Speed Up tab, Advanced System Care Free and Pro. We're going to cover both because the Pro and the Free are the same unless you activate them. Then you get the Pro features. So we're just going to go ahead and go right here. We're going to scroll down and then click Free Download right there. going to save it. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and run it. And we'll see the install process. Okay. Now, what's interesting here is this is a pretty familiar install uh, window, but um, I've run this a couple of times to see how the installation goes. And the first few times, there was actually an option down here that was already checked, and it was offering to install, um, I believe, Driver Booster. And while that's a product I am going to cover in the next video, I don't like bundled, so I went ahead and unchecked that, but I'm not showing it here. So that's interesting. We're going to go to, go to custom install down here and see what's going on. Okay. It's going to create a desktop icon pinned to taskbar, which means you can put the icon here. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. I don't like when uh, I like to pick what apps are down here. Um, then we'll leave those alone. Load advanced system care tray at Windows Startup. That means it's going to bring it over here. I got enough junk over there as it is. So I'm going to uncheck that. Load advanced system care service at Windows Startup. Um, this one's probably beneficial if if it's any good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. It's telling us what it's going to do in the background. It detects new startup items, calculates boot time, performs auto care. So it runs all of the, the stuff it claims to do. Uh, in the background by running that service. And if you don't run it at startup, it's not going to automatically do that. So, but I'm still going to say no, because I'm probably not going to have this at next boot up unless it's fantastic. And in that case, I can always change it in the settings. Go ahead and uncheck that and install. And then I don't really care for this. We have some marketing here for other products sold uh, by IOBit. I'm going to hit no thanks. Not a fan of uh, bundles and uh, marketing during the install process. Okay, and it's done installing and we have more marketing um, asking to bundle stuff and I'm going to say no thanks again. Not a fan of that, I bet. Okay, I have to uncheck this really fast because if I didn't uncheck that, oof, that was quick. Okay, and we have a bug, not a good sign. Uh, ASC, that was probably, okay, get map cell info. Okay, that was probably trying to send us to the website for more info, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's a critical bug. doesn't look good though. Okay, so on the top we have this little thing that's now on our screen. Um, let's see, we open this up. Okay, I just clicked that and it's cleaning my RAM. Um, so I guess that could be useful. I'm gonna move this over here. It released 3.6 gigs of RAM. Um, I guess that could be possibly useful if you're a gamer and you have some apps that have RAM bleed uh, to just be able to click this button here. We'll go back. This is just to clear your RAM real quick. I think I was only using about 4% more. But in here, I can see kind of like a, a fancy version of Task Manager, how much RAM I'm using, CPU, disk. Kind of interesting that it says 0% here, even though I know there's some disk I.O. going on on here. Um, so that's a cute little widget. Uh, turbo Boost on and off. We'll get take a look at that. Scan. Okay, so this is a widget of the main program. We'll put this down here. That looks kind of cute. Let's go ahead and open up System uh, Care. And we can scan in AI mode or manual mode. Okay, so manual mode. Okay, so we can select them. If not, AI will do it. Uh, AI just seems to be the in fashion word. I'm pretty sure this is auto mode um, because I don't think this is utilizing my GPU for advanced AI. Maybe it is on software level, but this is just the cute thing to say right now. Everything wants to be on AI. So over in the speed up tab, we have turbo boost on and off, stop unnecessary programs to release RAM and boost your PC. Um, 
this may be good. I wouldn't recommend this if you're a streamer because it might close OBS in the background. I really don't know. Okay, so we can configure it. That might be interesting. Okay, so we can turn off a few things here. Boost mode, game mode. Okay, so we can turn off the phone service. All right, so this would be okay for streamers theoretically, because but you would have to come in here and fine tune exactly what you'd want. But this is basically to turn off uh, unnecessary apps in the background just by turning it on. However, I mean, most people would wanna go into task manager and just clear your startup. Um, because if they're not running at startup, then they're not gonna be running in the background and it shouldn't be affecting your performance. Oh, over here, there's a startup optimizer. So they'll actually help you with this. So, I mean, this could be cute if you have a lot of stuff in the background, but I, I don't really see why you would have both of these. I would say you have startup optimizer and then close any programs you're not using. Okay, so hardware accelerator. This is actually a pitch to install driver booster, which we're going to review soon. So I'm, I'm not a fan of that in this section here. I do like startup optimizer. Let's go to optimize. Okay, so it'll give you some recommendations. Um, it's essentially like what we did over here. Um, just a fancier version of going to the startup tab. However, it is kind of nice because a lot of people don't know how to get here. Like if a lot of people watching this video might have never seen this section before. Um, so that's actually good for people who are not uh, real tech savvy. App extension cleaner. This is actually a pitch to install IOBit uninstaller. I'm not a fan of you know, bundling um, software or kind of pitching software as a feature. Uh, Real-time tune-up, this is kind of interesting. We have performance monitor, which is over here. And then auto RAM clean, which is a pro feature. We are using the pro version, I did activate it. Um, <clears throat> and then there's more optimization tools. So um, basically all this section, these are the two things that are a part of this program. And these two things are ads. These are more options to the website. And then this is the widget down here okay under protect um, system protection um, we have anti-spyware pro which this is a part of pro um, you don't get this if you're using the free version but i already have eset uh, security and uh, which comes with a firewall um, which is what i use you can check my links in the description if you want to get that um, but it has its own spyware as well and privacy protection uh, this is actually a real thing um, Anti-tracking, which is getting rid of trackers and you know cookies and things in your system. When you go to websites, a lot of times they'll install a tracker on you. It's just a it's just a file. But when you go back to another website, they can see that you've been to other websites and use that to build a profile on you uh, for financial gain and, and do targeted ads at you. Um, while anti-tracking is good, um, you should actually be using a VPN, which um, I recommend NordVPN. You can get that link in the description, by the way. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with this military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. Um, browser protection. Um, this is actually good, but my antivirus is already doing that, so it wouldn't be good for me. Uh, Homepage advisor. This is actually kind of interesting. Modifier notify. Okay, so this is actually good for malware protection because um, a lot of times um, malware and websites will try to change your your home page to theirs. So that's good. This could all be good. I just hope it wouldn't make the system too slow. But you wouldn't expect that because this is supposed to speed up your system. Uh, and then they're also selling a VPN. They're trying to get my IP address, but I'm VPN, so they just know I'm in Miami. I'm not in Miami, but that's where my VPN is. And they're selling you a VPN. Uh, I'm not familiar if their VPN is any good. I just know that they're not in the top 10 VPN providers in the in the world, um, which is why I use NordVPN. Also, ExpressVPN is good as well. Uh, system updater, okay, software updater. Okay. Nice feature, I don't think I need it. And then Action Center, this is actually a whole section 
selling me software. I don't, I don't care for this. This is a waste of a tab action center when it is just selling me more of your software. And this is the activated version. So it's system care pro. I, I like a lot of these features and we're going to test it out, but I don't like that. I'm getting sold more software, even though I paid for it. Uh, I think that if I pay for your software, I should get zero ads. So we're going to go ahead and do a scan. We're going to use AI mode. Okay, so it's going to scan for junk files. It's going to scan for invalid shortcuts. Uh, it's going to clean my registry. I did create a, a restore point in Windows because I knew it was going to do this. Um, Windows doesn't recommend cleaning the registry, but the jury's still out. There is an argument to be made that cleaning a registry does have a good a good uh, benefit. Um, but you really have it really depends on the registry cleaner. If there are really good safe registry cleaner, then it could theoretically be really good. Um, if they're not perfect, then it can cause stability issues. That's my argument. Um, but the jury is still out. There's a lot of ITs out there that will say you must clean your registry. And so, you know, make your own decision on that. But it'd be interesting to see if this improves performance. It's also going to do system optimizations. That'd be interesting. Internet improvements. That's most likely browser, uh, driver, outdated software, spyware threats, security weaknesses, security holes. I'd really be interested to see what it does. There's also an auto fix option where you could just click that, walk away, come back in 10 minutes, and then it already did everything. Um, so if you really trust the software, which I don't know if we should trust it yet, but we will soon, um, then that may be a good option, especially if you're doing this um, uh, several times per month and you've already know what it's going to do. You don't want to watch this. You don't want to babysit it. Just click auto fix, hit start, come back later. Spyware threats. I, you know, um, IOBit is not one of the top malware companies out there. They could theoretically have licensed one, but uh, I wouldn't expect that to find anything. I mean, if it did, great, but um, I'm not looking for IOBit to be a, a malware solution. Okay, so we're gonna get 786 megabytes of space back. Uh, yours might be near 100 gigs, you never know. I keep my system really clean, so it's not really fair. Um, it's got a lot of registry in industry uh, entries, excuse me, can't talk today, but I don't clean my registry. So that's not, that's not surprising. And then security items, we have weaknesses. Oh, it's because I don't use UAC. Uh, okay. I don't use, I have that enabled. Those aren't, those aren't weaknesses. And then it needs a windows update, which that's, that's not a, okay. So outdated drivers. Um, you would have to install driver booster. So again, I don't like that it's checking for this and then offering to have me install more of their software. So let's go back to summary and just click fix. And hopefully my machine doesn't have stability issues. I mean, this is a popular software. I think that if they destroyed your, uh, your registry, that there would be a lot of articles saying this is a terrible program, but, um, they do have some awards, so I would hope that it's a safe registry clean and not doing a deep registry search. And now it's actually adding my Windows updates. So it's doing Windows update for me for those new updates that are available, which I could have done that through over here. I could have just gone here to updates and check for updates. Um, but I, sh I'm, I guess this is fine. Okay, and it still um, says it wants me to install my driver booster. It's saying 21 items need to be fixed because 18 of them would be done by uh, driver booster. Uh, failed to install updates, that's okay um, because I don't want them updated anyway. Um, so that's interesting. It, it did recoup a lot of space. Um, and especially if you haven't done this in a while, you might have you know, near 100 gigs or more of temp files. So in the registry entries, I suppose that's good. My RAM usage hasn't changed any. It's actually gone up, but of course I'm doing more of my machine. Um, I don't really see what it's done. So let's look at the comparison. Um, this is actually good stuff. The cleanup part, the care, going through all of here, um, doing your registry, um, cleaning your system, um, doing privacy. This particular stuff, privacy protection, this is good. 
anti-tracking, that's actually a good thing. The anti-spyware, if you're just using Windows Defender, then yes, this is an upgrade. Uh, so if you don't already have an expensive security suite or something you're really proud of, um, then this part of Pro would really make sense. Browser protection, I do like this. Um, if you don't have a security suite that protects your browsing and protects your browser, this is really good stuff. Private browser, this is incognito mode. I don't think that's really a big thing. Ad removal, email protection. If you're, um, I don't know if that would work in all browsers. Let's see. Uh, okay, it does work in the three big ones. Why Internet Explorer? It, it, they would be using Edge. No, nobody's using Internet Explorer. I, I don't know if they mean that. I don't know if IOBit means to say Edge. Um, but but no one's using Internet Explorer. In fact, a lot of websites don't work with it. Okay, so so the free version you get this with speed up. I don't see so the real time tune up here. Auto RAM clean. So instead of clicking this button to clean RAM, uh, Auto RAM would do it for you. So that's what a pro version is there. Let's see what we got here. Smart RAM. Download required. Okay, so we do get some more stuff here under System Optimize. We have Auto Shutdown. This is a, something that would save you with having to do um, a command from the command line. Um, program Deactivator. I guess this would be useful if you uh, have something that, a program that's on a trial that's gonna auto charge you. Disk Doctor, System Control, DNS Protector. This is some interesting stuff. Um, WinFix, let's see what this is. Helps to analyze when an operating system and fix the found problems. Okay, so this is gonna run an SFC. There's actually something I was gonna say. I was like, why don't you have this as part of your scan? Something IOBit should do is they should put this as part of this under care. Because a lot of people are not gonna to know to go to, where was it? Speed up, more optimization tools. So WinFix is not an optimization tool. Uh, SFC or the system file checker. I actually made a whole video on, on system file checker, which you can check out up here. Um, is run from the command line and it just does this. And it scans all of system 32 and your files. Um, is actually a repair pending reboot. Anyway, this scan um, scans all of that and tries to fix errors in Windows and it's very effective and every IT knows how to do it and every PC shop should be running it. Um, and even Norton's tools, their paid tools, will run this. So that's what that is running. Uh, disk cleaner, that's another one. Registry cleaner. So I guess the part of this one that was cleaning the registry was a, was a, uh, a pro version. So that's actually nice because Smart RAM, Internet Booster, which is going to optimize Internet Explorer, all your browsers. Internet Explorer, again, Opera, Edge. Okay, Opera and Edge, Firefox. Not Chrome though, that's kind of a shame. Smart RAM, monitors and optimizes memory usage to increase available physical memory. So that's the auto RAM fix. And then these over here are all for purchase. File shredder, that's a secure delete, shortcut fixer. Okay, so these are essentially manual versions of what goes on during the care scan. So I think that's kind of redundant. All in all, this is a pretty cool program, even not the pro version. I hate to say that, but I don't see a whole lot of things. Auto RAM clean, you can just click this widget here. If you have this right here, clicked on performance monitor, and you click this little button right here, you'll clean your RAM. Um, that'll just do it automatically. And under protect, anti-spyware, anti-tracking. So cute, um, but not $20 cute, in my opinion. But some of you guys, if you don't know anything about computers, this might be a really big deal for you though. So it might be valuable to you. Under protect or under speed up, under more optimization, this tool here would run SFC for you automatically without having to know anything. However, I made a video right up here, which also automates that process. And you just double click on my tool and it runs an SFC, DISM, Windows Update Reset and Temp File Clean. So this is actually something that's not unique to this product. Anybody can do a win fix is what they call it. Uh, anyone can run an SFC. If you don't know how I got a video, it teaches you how to just double click on something and it'll do it for you. So all in all, it's a big eh, maybe, maybe okay for pro, but the, the free version is actually pretty darn good. So in summary, 
I think the free version is definitely a no-brainer for people who don't have a whole lot of computer knowledge, or if you want to utilize that RAM clean feature, it kind of reminds me of some mobile apps that were kind of a waste of time, but in this case, there are some useful things there, especially the privacy and browser related stuff, and also being able to clean your temp files. However, the free version doesn't really offer anything groundbreaking or something you couldn't theoretically do on yourself. And on the, on the paid version, the pro version, which is about $20 a year, that one would really be special use case. I mean, maybe if you would utilize the anti-spyware and you don't have anything but Defender, that could make sense. The automatic RAM cleaner, I don't really see that as a thing. And the uh, the win fix is really an SFC and you can do that on your own. So overall, it's a maybe on the pro, but definitely on the free version. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. Tell me guys what you guys think about these products or other products you'd like me to review on the channel. And I will definitely get on that and I will see you next time.